and Logan came in and Bree came in both separately. Well, Logan had something on his neck and I'm like, what do you have on your neck? You're like, you know, 20 some years old, high schoolers do that. Well, I turn and look at Bree and it was like 50 shades of red. Got a real good feeling. Brianna and Logan, today on one hand, probably seem to take forever to get here, and then so fast on the other. The good news is, now that it is here and happening, you need to slow down, take a deep breath, and remember to be present. Love. the first time that I knew about Logan going to the bar while she worked because we could see the front door of the bar from our living room. So I asked her, are you seeing Logan? Because I knew he was there a lot. And she was like, well, I mean, we're talking. I think he's cute. And Brianna came home late one night. She said, oh yeah, I had a shift at the bar, which she did in Dysler. I was like, oh, who walked you home? Because usually there's some pretty creepy, creepy ass guys that hang out at the bar in Dysler. She goes, oh, no one. Come to find out, it's Logan. There's always been two things, you know, with me and Logan, there's always been two things that I've known in his life he's been passionate about. It's farming, driving his truck, and then Bree comes, starts hanging around. But then I realized he had a passion for her. When Bree and Logan asked me to speak tonight, I immediately wrote your typical father of the bride speech. The speech had your standard topics of advice and life lessons. The speech also went into gruesome, gruesome, gruesome detail of what'll happen if my little girl ever calls me crying. I know. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> you can open it. Oh, I'm supposed to open it right Yeah. Now? Oh, then I will really start crying. As much as I hate to admit it, I have always and will look up to Bree. <laughs> she is the most warm-hearted and the best partier I know. <laughs> Qualities I would love to have. Always wanted to be sisters. One time even trying to poke our fingers and join our blood to become sisters. <laughs> we were really weird. My dad always told me, pick friends that show up and not show out. To me, that was always Logan. Uh, through the good times, the bad times, you know, random phone calls, text messages, he was always there. They were kind of meant to be together if it's been since they were little. Yeah. And I, I honestly couldn't have found a more perfect girl for my son. It's like they've been together for 45 years. It really is. We're almost old souls together. They're good. Yes. Yeah, that's very good. Um, hi, Logan. <laughs> I am so ready to marry you today. I don't think you know how much I love you and how much you mean to me and how lucky I feel that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Hey Brie, um, I'm super excited to see you today. I can't wait to see you in your dress. It's everything we've been through together in the last, especially in the last couple of years, I, I wouldn't want anybody <laughs> else by my side. I love you. That's beautiful. Look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look so good. You amaze me more and more every day with everything you do especially like planning this wedding. I don't know how you got through some of it with COVID restrictions. I'm ready to go. I want you to know how much I love you and 
can't wait to see you. <laughs> I asked how long into the relationship did they know that the other was the one? And Brianna said, a lot. Uh, it was probably four to five months into our relationship, the end of summer 2017 going into the fall. I was leaving for college and so nervous about what that meant for us, but Logan never even questioned us making it work. He drove to Boone a few times a week and I'd come home on the weekends. And during one of my Sunday night drives home, it just hit me that I'm either going to marry this man and have a life with him, or I'm never going to recover from the heartbreak. Which seems dramatic when I write it, but that's really how I felt. I take you to be my wife. Logan, I take you to be my husband. To share with you the laughter. To share with you the laughter. And to kiss away the tears. To kiss away the tears. And to give you all of my love in my heart. And to give you all of my love in my heart. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I am so very happy for you both and I wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. From being married only one year, I'll leave off with this. Put each other first. Communication is key. Never go to bed angry, and this is from Logan himself. It's not who you can live with every day, it's about who you can't live without. I love you both so much. It is my sincere honor and privilege, and with much excitement, to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Logan Lorenzen. My simple advice for this speech is, don't worry about what is next. There's no guarantee. Look at the faces in this room and soak in the moments of tonight. Soon, moments will become memories. This day is too special to worry about what is next. Please raise your glasses to Brian Logan. We love you. in my entire life and so supported. And it is overwhelming to be in a room with so many people who love us and are here for us and friends and family. So thank you all so much for coming out and being part of this. We love you all. So let's party.
Let's, let we're, they're asking questions and we're answering Let's them. let her rip. My biggest Fuck. thing with Logan is that guy just loves throwing nacho cheese on everyone. Ooh. Oh. Hockey at hockey games especially. <laughs> especially at hockey games. Peace out. Did we win? Did we do it right? <laughs> I love you guys. I'm so excited for your future. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day. And we're the sexiest bridesmaids. Yeah. Don't you? I can't give you my digits because I'm married, but you can have her digits. I should take mine, Brett. <laughs> Make sure he's whipped and you're not whipped. <laughs> that's, that's a big piece of advice. <laughs> the girls wear the pants. <laughs> Definitely. Brianna does. I know. She should. Let's get after. Why is that Logan's a nasty, nasty boy? Oh my god. <laughs> We are very excited. It was a very good day. It was what a do perfect you perfect day. What do you think about more about today? It was a perfect day. I, I mean, I had the best say. day. You hold the camera. It's heavy. Don't drop it. Everybody made it perfect that showed up. And we feel very, very loved and have the world's best vendors. And we like Lauren more than Ben, but we're gonna let that go. <laughs> no, it's been great. And we feel very much in love and are ready to go to Florida. <laughs> yep. So very, very happy couple. Vloggers now, that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm a vlogger. <laughs> I'm like a day in my life. Watch me get ready. Watch me take my wedding pictures. <laughs>